Hello friends, let's look at another question in C++ that what is the difference between enum classes and the traditional enum what we used to use long back. Okay, nowadays also uh, people are using this enum but there is a significant difference between these two. So I have brought that difference here and uh, I'll be talking about few differences. Actually there are lots of differences here and uh, lots of minute differences which you are not really need to know and uh, so this is the basic difference between enum classes and the simple enum like in simple enum you write straight away that you will be using this red okay so if you are initializing this red to this c1 then this c1 is nothing but zero and this red will be printed okay but here in class enum you have to use this scope resolution in order to access that red Okay, this is the way we declare the enum classes and to access any of this red, green or blue, you have to have this scope resolution operator. Okay, then only you can use it and wherever you want to use like C2 will be red again of enum class and if you want to use it like this, you have to use again with the scope only. Okay, before it was not needed, but this is a good thing guys that keeping this in the scope I'll tell you why so first problem is this one is without scope so what problem comes let's suppose you want to create some variable and you want to give that variable name like green like integer green is equal to 100 you won't be able to do this I'll compile this code and we'll see that so g plus plus app.cpp See here, it is telling integer green redeclared as different kind of symbol. It means this is a symbol which you cannot redeclare. Okay, so that was the problem. This green between these red and blue is having full scope, this whole, whole scope. Okay, but this green is not having full scope. Let's suppose if I will comment this whole code, let's suppose this whole code is not there and we will use this green. And I will compile this it will work see it is working and if I will execute it this will execute with red don't think like I was writing it be after this whole statement that's why it was giving you the error I know people might think like that also so I'll just paste it here compile it again it is compiling and it is running successfully so it means there is no problem because this green you cannot access naked like how this red was you was using okay i think you would have got this difference now there is another difference two same red or green or blue was not allowed like suppose today you created this enum let's suppose tomorrow you came and you thought okay let's create another enum there what i will do i will create another set of class where i will include this black also okay and that i can just uh, this is color 1 this is color 2 I can tell this color 3 okay and we are good to go no we are not good to go just because I will show you that it will tell you red green and blue redeclaration okay you are going to redeclare red green and blue here because its scope is all over the place here this in this main and you cannot have another red another green another blue like exactly the same way as you cannot have another Rupesh variable once you have already created Rupesh variable. Okay, it's like this. Once you created Rupesh variable in this full scope, you won't be able to create another variable with the same name. Okay, so this is what happening here. So this was also not allowed, but this is allowed in enum classes. Yes, you can do that. I'll show you that enum class. And now if we will compile it, it will compile. See, it compiled. I'll clear the mess. We'll compile it. It compiled. Now we can just simply run that red and red. One red is coming from here and another red is coming from here. So that was the second difference. Actually, they have created this class enum to overcome all those stuff what they realize in the face of this whole journey of C++ development. So developers have resolved lots of the issues which was there in the older C++. Okay. And there is another difference. Last difference what I think should be discussed here is this was converted into integral types like this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 but in case of enum this is not integral type okay you cannot 
implicitly converted into integral i'll tell you what difference it makes okay so for that i need to create one function here so that function we can create is something like function which will be taking integer okay and uh, i can use this whole thing now you see this function is taking integer right but you can pass something else like red here okay another and something called one here so see the same function is taking integer green red i mean this is of color type right and this is of integer type why it is taking these two different different types just because we can convert this type into integral type this is by default zero here this is zero and the rule is you will be keep on incrementing by one so this green green become one and this blue become two okay so that's why this whole thing is working so if i will pass this zero here and one here and two here it is going to print red green and blue we'll see that compile successfully run red green and blue okay so this is going to work it should not work because it creates confusion so that's why enum classes were created if i will write just class here so we are done now we'll see that what the error is could not convert red from color 1 to integer okay it means this cannot be compared with c and what is this c c is a integer type so now you don't have any comparison between red of enum type to some integer okay so this is a clear code now if you want this to work you have to have your color one here and you have to pass red green and blue here so we'll see that if you will just simply change color one here is it going to work no it is not going to work see again the same error but if you will keep it like this now this whole code will work we'll compile this see it compiled if you will run this red green and blue so now there is no confusion you are passing color one type you are getting color one you are comparing color one type with color one okay so everything is neat and clear there is no confusion and i will tell you one more uh, problem here let's suppose this is color okay this is color one let's just remove the color name like color one null and uh, i will remove this function also there is no need of this let's suppose there are two classes okay i don't want to use this class i'm going to explain you the another problem with this enum is this is color and this is people and here we will write anything like good bad so where enum is color another enum is people so i can write something like this okay and if we will compile this code this code is going to work see red and good are equal can a red and good be equal no it is not possible but see it is working and it is true why just because this is zeroth position so that's why it converted into zero and this is also zeroth position of another enum that's why this is also converted into zero so zero equal to equal to zero yes it is true and it came into this if okay which is logically incorrect okay so this kind of things also create lots of confusion when you work on bigger projects you should not create things which might create confusion in the future and yeah see if you put equal equal in between color and people like if you are using this class here and class here then can you compare these two because if it is class now you have to write this color here and people here okay you cannot compare it these two like this why because it is obvious that one part of this is color another part of this is people how this different different parts could be equal there is no possibility at all that's why this operator is not available in between these two okay so if i will compile this you will see that there is an error see this error okay it is not available so i think i have explained all the differences what i wanted to discuss here so let's 
move to the next video now and i hope you enjoyed